This is the Rocking Road Show, the only show for bikers by bikers. Jump on as we talk all things motorcycle, maintenance, accessories, weekly rides, bike nights, and more. With your hosts, Alfie and the One Three. So kick stands up and let's get rolling. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Rock and Road Show. I am Alvy, as always. I'm the one three. That's me. Yep. Coming to you live from the headquarters of the Rock and Road Show, the one three bar. Um, Sometimes one three bar and grill. Oh, and brought to you by <laughs> technical difficulties. Always, man. Always. <laughs> for uh, for those that don't understand the uh, reference, there. Um, this past weekend, Woo! <laughs> uh, we were down in Daytona for Bike Week, and um, yeah, yeah, I had a problem of not uh, not turning the microphone on or flipping the camera flipping around, the camera ah, just, way, just little things, happen. whatever it was. So, so that's what we're so that's what we're doing. So, brought to you by technical difficulties because I'm sure at some point in time in this in this conversation, <laughs> something's gonna happen. Look at everybody joining us. Kim, what's up? Uh, Phil. Hey, Sybil. Sybil's joining us. That's Kim's mom. Oh, yeah? Cool. And, uh, and Phil, as always. Thank you, buddy. So, uh, yeah. So, like I was saying, um, this past weekend, we were down in Daytona for Bike Week. Actually, it's up. Uh, or it is From up. here, it's up. Yeah, it is. I didn't realize how far north it was yeah, to it kinda, us. Yeah, it kind of does move. Well, you know, it's funny because everybody thinks I-4 goes pretty much east to west. No. It's, it's, um, Freaking. it's like... Northwest, Southwest, yeah, North, Northeast, Northeast Southwest. Southwest. So, um, so yeah, so we went to Daytona. Um, yes, we did. Kind of introduced you and the one four to how me and Kim do Daytona. Yeah, which was really cool because last time when um, the one four and I went to Daytona, it was like, holy crap! It's traffic, it's congested, bikes getting run over, and you know the crowds on Main Street are just ridiculous. Yeah. You know, we're like this. Okay, let's go get a beer. It's 500 degrees. No, we're not getting a beer. You know, and then, then it, you just thought, let's go back to the hotel. We're done. Yeah, I mean, so. It's crazy. Uh, yeah, so we um, we do it a little differently. Um, we, <laughs> Kim Kim has the, uh, the, the best way of putting it. She says, if you make plans, something's going to happen, right? Yes. Something's bound to happen. It'll fuck up the plan. So. Uh, so we tend not to make plans. We just kind of go with the flow and see what happens. We, our plans are kind of, we want to go here right. today. We want to go here tomorrow, whatever it is. Right. And whatever happens on the ride, whatever happens in between that, that's what we're going to do. So we end up doing the no plan plan. No plan plan. Um, but it's always good, man. Like So I know So for some of you guys, some of you guys were kind of with us all weekend uh, through all of our... Um, uh, Live videos, live that we video, yeah, the, the little um, videos and stuff. The Iron Horse Saloon, man, that was see, I've never been there. It was our first time at the yeah. Iron Horse, and that was just freaking amazing. It's, I the two stories, it's the, unreal, and it, the I boardwalk, mean, it is, it is like a biker heaven. Yeah. It is oh, wall of death, the wall of death. We're gonna talk about that Woo! Here in a little bit. My but, uh, God, but yeah, so so we left on Thursday. I was gonna say because some of you guys might have caught the uh, the live show that we did uh, Thursday night after we got to Daytona, um, <laughs> which we were a little pooped. Yeah, we were a little beat up, a little <laughs> tired, but uh, too pooped to pop. A couple of beers in the night too. So yeah. Um, but anyhow, yeah. Um, I digress. So we leave Thursday. We take the long way around to get there. Yep. Which, um, besides besides getting behind the stinky truck, oh, uh, beautiful ride. Man. Other than that, it's a beautiful ride. And the orange stinky. blossoms are out like uh, crazy. So, you did. so the few times that we could smell the orange right. blossoms because we were behind the stinky <laughs> truck for like an hour. Oh, yeah. man, it was making me sick. It was yeah. like horrible, man. I, I'm, I'm backing off. I was glad I was way in the back. I was the <laughs> tail gunner, if you will, man. I was like, slow down, catch some air. Yeah, so so the long way around is uh, is nice, though. It's, uh, yeah. it's a, a quite peaceful ride uh, with the exception of um, – Getting on to 44 oh. and uh, yeah. the asshole in the uh, red convertible. Convertible BMW that uh, started to cut the 1-4 off and push her into another lane. And he was complaining, well, there's two lanes. And it's like, yeah, but she's in this lane. And yeah. you're in that lane. And it's funny because I didn't I didn't know anything had happened because I was, I was leading the pack. 
and I was yeah I was looking in the in my mirror and checking my blind spot to figure out if we could get because we, we were getting over to the right lane to make a right onto 44 yeah and uh, so I was paying attention over there and when I came back forward one three's revving his engine he's past me now I'm like what the fuck's going on I stop at the light one four comes around me I'm like <laughs> I look back at Kim I'm like what the fuck is going on and then I start hearing. Oh, what yeah. happened? Well, it's and funny because I was on the driver's side. She was on the passenger side. Yeah, I mean, it was like... And the worst part was, you know, he goes, I fucking ride too. And I'm like, oh, you're a dick. <laughs> you're not, you just went from asshole status to fucking dick status. <laughs> I mean, that, I mean, that was wrong. Yeah, he, he was completely he should, wrong. He should have he should have oh. just, you know, waved and said, I'm sorry. But, the, you know, the big part about it was, too, was that uh, he actually threw the bird. Oh, to 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 one four that's after a, she honked at him for fucking trying running to her kill off the road. Yeah. So so fuck that guy. Yeah. Um, and if he's one of our fans, fucking unfriend us. Yeah, unfriend us. Go away. <laughs> um, so so we continue on. Um, Forty four. Yeah, kept on going through uh, the land and everything else, and I decided. Uh, I think it was kind of a group decision was made to we had to stop somewhere to. Oh. Stretch the legs, Woo. give the ass a break. Um, so we were close enough to where I said, you know what? Let's and our make... butts, not just me. <laughs> Let's just make a uh, a pit stop, and we'll take uh, we'll take the one three and the one four to the cabbage patch because they had never been to the cabbage. Never patch. been to the cabbage patch either, and that was awesome. So we so we end up going to the cabbage patch. For those of you, well, Bill, what's up, man? For those of you listening that have never. Uh, seen the Cabbage Patch or never been to the Cabbage Patch? What would you? How would you explain the Cabbage Patch to somebody who's never seen it before? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definite um, biker bar outside. Yeah, half inside, half outside. Very tiny little bar, but everything outside is crazy. Well, it sucks because I did have I did have the a video going, and I was trying. The idea was that we were going to walk through the Cabbage Patch, and then we were going to end the video in the original bar. Well, I, not, I shouldn't say the original bar, but the bar itself, right? So, so for Bike Week and and um, oh shit, bike you guys Cobra are down Fest. at Brandon Bike Fe- Bike Week. That's awesome. Um, sorry, interrupting. That's all right. Who's that, Brandon Bike Night? Uh, that, that's Wild Bill, buddy. Uh, tell those guys hi. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, so um, we we're gonna walk through the Cabbage Patch, and and so not so during Bike Week and during Biketoberfest. They put on a big show, right? They have vendors there. They have, um, they have uh, guys there doing oil changes, which the one the one three ended up using. Yeah, well, that's the um, other thing, man. I, I, that was awesome. Yeah. So. Hey, Carmela, how you doing? So we end up uh, going to the bar to show everybody the bar, but technical difficulties being what they were, <laughs> the uh, I, I didn't have good enough internet for it, and the feed fell off so you got us walking past the band that by the way go back and listen to that video i think they were playing um i don't uh, remember God, man. they were playing uh, bon jovi or something oh oh, oh and the music was and, like and atrocious the, yeah the solo the guitarist was trying to play the solo and the solo was like out of key off rhythm like oh don't get me wrong sounded better than i could play it but it, it was bad so yeah so you guys uh, got to the point where we kind of walking to the bar, and then uh, the feed fell off, so you didn't get to see the bar. All right, so so Deb says, "Hey guys, not sure about Cabbage Patch to those who haven't haven't been." Um, yeah, <laughs> it's, it's an experience, that's for sure. It, it absolutely is. Um, so yeah, so we we hung out there for a little bit. The one three and the one four got their oil changed, uh, relatively cheap, right? Yeah, it was a, a buck seventy for both bikes. Yeah, yeah. So there I mean, you go. come on. I, I think that's pretty good. And it's Randy's Cycle Shop or some shit like that. Okay. He's actually out of like Illinois or something. Oh no shit. Yeah, I found him up. It's it's pretty cool, man. That's he, cool. He's got his own. He's got a real shop, brick and mortar shop yeah. up there. And he just travels down for bike week. Does the bike weeks and, and has a couple little things set up. And I'll tell you what, if he if that's what he charges at his shop, man, that's freaking outstanding. Yeah. Yeah, he's just charging. He's just trying to keep people on the road. I so, yeah, so, um, yeah, so the Cabbage Patch, is a, it's it's an experience. Um, it's it's one that I think if, if you're, if you're going to make a trip to Daytona for bike week or for Biketoberfest, 
You've got to do yourself a favor. Get out to the Cabbage Patch. It's 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 an experience. It's an experience. It's crazy. I will tell you. I, I was told a story the other day uh, on our way back because we stopped back by on, on the way out on Sunday. And the story. I'm sorry to. No, no, no. But I'm going. This is the way the show is going to be all That's day. It. We're going to be all over I'm, the place I'm like, today. I'm like you know, <laughs> ADD all up again. Uh, <laughs> I got kind of. I got Alvy a little scared. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, Cabbage Patch. We're talking to this guy. He said that they they had this one girl who was just kicking ass in the coleslaw wrestling, all right? And so she had this one girl pinned. um, So she was a skinnier girl, and the other girl was a bigger girl. She had the bigger girl pinned in the coleslaw who began to, how shall we say? um, (laughs) Evacuate. Evacuate her, um, yeah, drinks from the day. We'll leave it at that. So they did not stop the fight, the wrestling. They didn't stop it. Yeah, and then there was another another match, match after. Yep. And the second match, the girl, the skinny girl, was on top of the big girl again. Another big girl, different one, because she won the last round. She was shoving this girl's face down in the coleslaw that had just been evacuated into, <laughs> vomited into. <laughs> yeah, and and by the way, the girl won twenty three hundred dollars that weekend. Yeah, I think, and then ended up buying a sporty afterwards. So. Yeah, that was crazy. Hey, Sonny, how you doing? Um. Yeah, so uh, I, I didn't get to that the 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 cabbage or the, the coleslaw wrestling. That's that is a part of the cabbage patch experience. Yes, we did not get to see any. No, but um, they left the mound out there. But yeah, you pretty... could you could see the mound is there all the time. That you, was you, yeah. and actually on Sunday when we stopped in, there was still some slaw thrown some about. Slaw thrown about. So. So yeah, so do yourself a favor if you're ever down in Daytona for Bike Week, Bike Tour Fest, or hell, even if you're just on. Uh, on a ride going through or towards that area, whatever. Yeah. Stop by the Cabbage Patch. It's a great little bar. Wait, you go past the land, and is that on 44? Or it's, is it 19? It's off of uh, 44 and Tamuka Lake, or Tamuka Farms Road, I think is yeah. what Yeah, dude. Yeah, you got to stop. You got to stop by. You have to. Um, it's funny because me and Kim wanted to take you guys to another bar that is. Uh, yeah. It is kind of uh, sporty, so to speak. And what I mean by that, it's. So, okay. Do you, ever, do you remember the movie um, Monster with Sh- uh, Charlize Theron? Where she no, I, the, I don't think I watched serial that. Serial killer, ch- female serial killer. I don't think I watched that. So any, so there's a there, there's a bar down in Daytona. It's actually in uh, Port Orange. Okay. It's called the Last Resort. Okay. And the Last Resort is a bar that this uh, female serial killer. That was her bar. There's a there's a hotel that's right down the street from ah, it. Okay. There she used to uh, pick up Johns and that's where she'd go and murder. So you were going to take us to this place that murders happen. Exactly. In well, movie. Not, in not, movie. well, no, in no, movie. no, the murders never happened in the bar. Right in the movie. Uh, but well. the bar is interesting. It's another one of those really tiny, small hole in the wall bars. Like you walk in the door and like you could take three steps and you're out the other side of the bar. That's all. Ah, that's cool. But it's got a, a an area in the back in the back of it that's kind of. Let's just say sketchy. How about that? So yeah. Um, yeah, so so we finally make it, you know, make it to to Daytona and actually staying in um, Ponce Inlet. Right? Yeah, we were. That was nice. which um, uh, Debbie Bush. Want to thank you. I know you probably won't see this, but uh, uh, we do want to thank you for uh, giving us your house for the weekend. Um, oh, she yeah. she usually hangs out with us and, and goes to Main Street and 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 hoots and hollers too. Uh, but sure. unfortunately, she had a family emergency, so she could not be there with us. So, um, so thoughts and prayers to you. Deb. Absolutely. Um, we'll see you next time. That's Absolutely. Sure. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So, so Friday we Chuck. wake up and we make our way out to Chuck um, Bell. Hey Chuck, what's up? We make our way out to uh, Main Street. Yes. First thing we stop at is the Full Throttle um, Bike Show. Yes, we did. Which was phenomenal. Oh my gosh. Some beautiful bikes. What do you say, 124, 127 yeah, bikes? It was a buttload of bikes. We ended That's up a walking. video you can check out. Uh, that was the technical difficulties video because <laughs> I never turned the uh, I never turned the mic on. So you fortunately you can hear us, but, but it's it, not as good. It's not as clear and there's a lot of background noise. But but you guys can go check those bikes out. There's a lot of really, really sweet bikes on that video. Absolutely. Um, go check that out. Uh, but yeah, so we, we walked through the uh, uh, through the bike show and then end up on Main Street. Stop at Froggies. Um, stop at Iron Horse. I mean Iron Horse. I'm sorry. Stop at um, Boot Hill. Boot Hill. 
And we know that, oh yeah, we saw um, a band that's actually from here in the Tampa area, Wesley Chapel. Um, what is it? Stone Gray. Stone Gray. Freaking amazing. They fucking rocked it, man. I, I mean, they just rocked it. Yeah, those kids are great, man. I And they are kids. <laughs> yeah, they're in their they're in their early twenties. Um they uh me and Kim found them um a couple years ago at right? Bike uh Bike Toberfest. Okay. Uh, they were playing at Boot Hill. So you're and, you're a, a groupie then? Yeah, right? we're kind of a groupie now. Like oh, we've seen gotcha. them we've seen them live several times. Yeah. And usually kind of when they're when they're up and around the area, we usually try and make it out to go see them because they're oh, just awesome. they're just that good. Well, they did play a Sunday, and a, and a couple of our um, crew members from our Gasparilla crew, the crew of Blackbeard's Revenge, in case y'all are watching, KBR, um, <laughs> they were commenting on uh, this band that was at PJ Dolan's, and I'm like, oh yeah, I know them. <laughs> yeah, we're friends with them. We, we go way back to like the earlier that couple days next ago. day. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean those guys—they're they're, really—they're really talented, super talented kids, and uh, I wish them the, the best. Oh, because absolutely! I, I really do. If they stick with it and keep going, uh, they're going places. They're I really think awesome. so. I think they're going to have a, a, a record contract. Yeah. Soon. And if they don't, then somebody's missing out. So. Everyone's missing out. Actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, wrapped it up on Friday, and then uh, Saturday. Saturday. What we ended up doing Saturday is kind of what I enjoy doing. The loop for Daytona, yeah. The so loop. we we took off and we went and rode the Ormond Loop. God. Um, kind of you, you run it up. The way we end up going is you run up A one A all the way almost to Ormond Beach, and you cut across and you go into uh, Tamuka State Far or Tamuka State, State Park, Park. Um, and it's just a beautiful ride. Um, through mangroves, through cypress trees, through the Atlantic Ocean. You're watching. I mean, just all kinds of stuff. Super super cool ride. Um, we've got a couple of pictures on, uh, the Facebook so you can check them out. Um, yep. unfortunately, we didn't take any video. Or nobody, pictures. nobody thought about taking video, which is probably a good thing because you can't really experience the, the Ormond loop through, through a friggin' screen. It kind of sucks. You gotta, you gotta take it in and enjoy it. Yeah. Um, so, uh, so yeah, so we end up doing the, the loop and, uh, we peel off a little early and we Hey Jerry, how you doing? And, um, uh, Jeremy, what's going on, bud? Um, and then we end up in uh, at the Iron Horse. Oh yeah. Um, and the Iron Horse is another one of those, man. It's a, it's a <laughs> it's an institution. You gotta uh, if you're out in Daytona for Bike Week or for you, Bike Tober. Fuck it, if you're out in Daytona, you know what? And there's what sucks about that that whole area there is what there's sucks? so many bars right there that are all phenomenal. Yeah. Because you have you have Iron Horse, you have Broken Spoke. You have Wasn't that uh, right, Annie right Oakley's. Up the road? Yeah, I mean, there's like right there from Iron Horse. There's legit on the right hand side. If you're if you're heading north on uh, on one, there's like I don't know. There's legit Excuse me. three or four bars up that way, um, and I've I've never really checked them out. And I got to I've got to go out and do that one time because um, they all look like they're awesome. They all look like they have a hell of a time. So you want a pounder? Uh, I'm good. Yeah, I know. Um, so, <laughs> Some have an arrogant bastard. Uh, so we, we check out uh, Iron Horse, and um, we, ex we experience the wall of death at the Iron Horse. Um, Freaking amazing. For anybody who's never seen a wall of death, uh, I highly, highly, highly recommend you go check one out. Um, I know they had one in, uh, at Iron Horse. They had one at Destination Daytona. Um, for those of you watching that don't, that may not know what a wall of death is, basically, it's uh, a bowl. Yep. And they put motorcycles in it, and they ride these motorcycles up on the wall. Um, there's another video that we put together <laughs> of uh, of the wall of death. So took, go check that out. They took well. money right out of my hand as yeah. he's going like. I don't know, 30, 40 miles an hour or not. That's what it seems like. It seems like that because it's such a tight, compact little area. But, uh, but yeah, man, the Wall of Death is super fucking cool. Ah. You got to check it out. Um, Hoppy. Yeah, I don't, it's, there's really no way to explain what it is. I mean, you can watch the video and you can, you can see it and that's cool, but. Well, you can only see one half of it because. Yeah, because it's so friggin' fast. Well. If, if well, I was going to, if I would have. Tried to keep the video on one. Oh, people would have got dizzy, everybody man. Got sick. So you see that chick? Um, that chick was freaking. What the hell? Yeah, she was killing it, man. 
Um, I said, not my ass. <laughs> yeah, there's no way you put me. You you would never catch me on a wall of death. Not not at all. Oops. And the the thing about it, when when I said that they took money out of my hand, the reason they take money out of your hand and they they ask for donations, the donations are because nobody, no insurance company will insure them. Okay, so. So if you all go to a wall of death and, and you pay your $5 or whatever the hell they're charging and you don't throw in a tip money, man, you, you really should think about that because most of us have insurance. They have none because no insurance company will even touch them. So if they get hurt, which they do get hurt in that thing, I can guarantee it, but they they, they got to go and it comes out their pocket, man. Yeah. It comes... Right out of their pocket. Yeah, they tell you too that this is this is the wall of death insurance insurance fund. fund yeah. yeah. So um, yeah, so it's definitely something you got to check out. Uh, um, so while we were at Iron Horse, um, <laughs> we, me and one three are, are walking around making a video, and the ladies are off shopping. Yeah, go and, figure. And um, out of nowhere, I shouldn't say out of nowhere, but out of out of nowhere. I hear Kim yelling my name, which wow. I instantly yeah. go to, holy shit, she's in trouble, right? right? So Here, hold this, he I, says. I give, <laughs> yeah, I give the camera to 1-3 of my hair, and I turn around, and luckily nothing was wrong with Kim, uh, but she was calling me over because there was an old-timer that was... Uh, in distress. A, yeah, he was at a he was looking at rings and he was in very bad shape. Yeah, he was in distress. Um, I, they said that he might, he might have been diabetic. I think he was just overheated. Dude, you see how heavy that jacket the was? Jacket was heavy. Uh, he had a he had a big leather uh, jacket. It had to be an on, inch and a half thick. And I mean, it, it wasn't it wasn't blazing hot, but no, it was but still it was too hot for that. I mean, it was still you know high seventies, low eighties, maybe. Riding riding with that jacket, okay. Yeah. Walking around with that jacket, not cool. So, um, sorry, I'm sitting down. So, if you see my, <laughs> make, make sure that you're, yeah, you're good. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, so I go over to him, and and uh, there's a the woman that's running the the ring stand is talking to him, and uh, I think she was a nurse or some kind of medical. You know, yeah, she did. She said she was a nurse because oh, okay. she was asking all the right questions. Yeah, yeah. That, you know, hey, what do you know where you are? What date is? Can you hold my fingers? Squeeze. Lift up, lift down. I mean, all this stuff. Right. She was looking for a stroke is what she was yeah. looking for. And uh, that was kind of funny because I walk over to the guy and uh, and I, I because the, 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 the nurse, the woman was trying to help him move. And I'm like, I just, I kind of went up to her. I, I, I might have been a little rude. I was just like, get out of the way. I kind of pushed her out of the way. And I, I put his arm around me and I'm like, hey, buddy, can you walk? He's like, and nope. He's not really talking. So I just he's he was tiny. He I, mean, I have to say he was a little guy. He was a tiny guy, but so I just kind of pick him up and I start walking to there's a there was a table. And people are like, "Can I help you?" I'm like, "Just get the fuck out of the way." Like, "I got it. Just just let me go." I know. And I um, was like going to lift one leg and help the guy and, and I didn't mean it like that. That sounded kind of bad, but <laughs> there's got to be a better way to say this. Um, I was going to help carry the guy and I saw Kevin and I was like no sorry Alvy, I'm out bro you got this I just move people yeah so it was lay him on the table was another guy came over to help I was like just get the fuck out of the way let me the table's not that far I got him and uh, we, we get him down and the nurse is over there helping him and I just kind of looked at everybody I was like alright he's in good hands I need a beer I need a fucking beer that's a little more than I really wanted to do on my bike week is really what it boiled down to but, uh, but you know luckily, what luckily yeah go ahead you know what is a feel good story because you felt good after helping someone. Oh yeah, for sure. And at the end of the day, yeah. No man, go there. No, it's your story. He, uh, yeah. So as we were, we were actually leaving because we were going to go to uh, destination Daytona. Yep. And as we were walking out, um, I think it was Kim, Kim or the one four noticed that old timer was up on up on one of the levels. Uh, drinking a water, eating a hot dog or hamburger or something Spoon like that. Putting some food Still in Still had it. that big-ass fucking jacket on, though. Hey, Jody, how's but, it going? Um, but, yeah, uh, luckily he ended up being okay. Um, so kudos to the medical staff Absolutely. At, uh, at Iron Horse because I'm sure they had a little bit to do with that as well. Oh, so. yeah. Oh, and speaking of Jody, man, we hung out with him over there. Was That that was a boot hill yeah, as well. Yeah, it was well. a boot hill, yeah. When yeah. We were listening to the band. And uh, when we were listening to Stone Gray. Stone yeah. Gray was awesome. I, I just got to say. And uh, real quick, Jody... And uh, Ange, Angela, 
they uh, they know the band. They they're yeah, that's son right. or yeah, yeah. Or, Actually, yeah, yeah, Carmel. He he did earn that I did beer. I earned that beer. Thanks. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so they know them. They grew up. Their kid grew up with the, right. the lead singer, I think, and that was awesome. I told him one thing. I said, "Hey, man." I said, "These guys have been like telling you me how good you are." I said, "Impress me." Oh my God! <laughs> impressed they did. Impressed they did. They really did impress me. Um. Yeah. So then we end up we we leave the Iron Horse and we head over to Destination Daytona. Uh, which is another great place, man. There's that, that you, dude. You can spend a week in there. Oh yeah, man. And it's funny because when you tell when you tell everybody, yeah, we're just gonna run up to to the Harley dealership. No, there's you, you cannot you cannot envision in your head what that entails going there. Uh, honestly, I thought going to the Harley dealer. I'm thinking, okay, we're going to something like um, not like Burt's where the expo was. I'm thinking like Brandon Harley with a restaurant and. You know the the course and all that yeah. stuff. I absolutely did not expect <laughs> like a freaking mall. Yeah, no, it's huge, man. And then I mean, it's you got so you have yeah, it's crazy. You have Harley, then you have J, uh, JP Cycles is right there, which you know those those people are great too. Absolutely. Um, and then all the vendors that are there, you have to park out in the freaking boonies. Yeah, catch a trolley. Catch a trolley to, to get, get you, I know. to get you to the front. So. Uh, yeah, so we go we go there, um, and after after months and months and, and probably a year or so of of uh, talking to the one three, uh, I finally finally talked the man yes. into buying a product from Zero Three D. So what yes. did what did you get from Zero Three D? Oh, I got the phone holder, the, the, their phone holder, which is super cool, man. It, you, you turn it and it locks the phone in. You, you can actually turn the phone any direction. The one I got, I did not get the uh, the charger. Like you got the one with the charger. Um, that's the one that you have had on your bike for yeah. a long time. But uh, no, I got the one without the charger because I have a charging port on my fairing right right there. Yeah, so, I can so just, it's nice and close. Yeah, it's short. Yeah. So, but no, man, I like this thing. My next my next uh, purchase. From them will probably be the uh, the cup holder, maybe. I don't know if I'm gonna drop seventy bucks on a cup holder. Good product, great product. It's just a little pricey for me. I mean, <laughs> cup holder. Yeah. Now I did see another cup holder that I liked from a, another manufacturer, and it actually goes on on your um, your engine guard. Yeah. And it curves, so it curves back towards one of the heads. Now that's kind of like okay, well it's warm. <laughs> yeah, you know, but it's insulated. And How stuff, much was so. it? They're about the same. Yeah, yeah, they're about seventy. You bucks. know, to be honest with you, man, I mean, but it's off your handlebars. It's yeah. down low. It's kind of one of those things. It's you know, like here's 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 the 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 real point of this. You will pay, you will pay a premium when you buy zero three. Yes. There is no doubt about it. But. Yeah. The one thing that I will say that they they've got figured out and they do really well, they lifetime guarantee all of their stuff. everything, everything they have, and that's no shit. I was actually talking to the uh, to the main guy there, um, and was saying how awesome of a company you guys were because I had my phone holder that has a charging has it's a charger, and I had it for almost a year, and the thing just quit working on me. It wouldn't charge anymore. So, so you I thought, just gave me that one. I well, I didn't, you know. <laughs> anyways, hindsight. Um, but yeah, I didn't, you know. I thought it was the cord, so I I swapped out the ch- little chart because it, you know, you got a, a cord comes out of it, goes into the phone. Right. That wasn't it. So I figured, ah, you know what? Cause the harm. Up. So I shoot him an email, just said, hey, you know, I bought one of these. It's not working anymore. Uh, is there, you know, is there a way that you guys could send me a new harness because I think the harness might be busted or something, whatever. They're like, no, 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 don't worry. We'll send you a new one. Like, did they ask for a receipt? Nothing. Did they ask for nothing. The new part? Nothing. The old one back? Nope. Hey, man, you know them lights? Yeah. <laughs> I now, like them blade I'm lights. To, I don't think. I don't remember that they did. They probably. There was questions. There I'm had sure. to be something. But anyhow, they they literally just sent out a a new. Um, they didn't send the whole thing. They didn't send the harnesses or anything like that. Right. Just the uh, just the holder. Yeah, you which got... ended up being the bad, the part that was bad. Awesome. Um, but yeah, they sent it out. No questions asked. Like, I think, 
I won't, it wasn't next day era, but it was like two or three days. It was in like I was impressed. I was That's like, wow, no awesome, shit, bro. So yeah, you will pay a premium for them, but it's got it's guaranteed for life. I like it. I like the product, so, and I do like the products. And you know, I have a little bit of work that I have to do to my bike first, but I will be getting yeah. the blades. And you know what? I don't think I'm going to go with like the amber turn signal you have. I think I'm just going to stay with the red. Just stay with the red. Yeah, because it looks cool. You yeah. know, it's it's. I saw another thing that they 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 uh, they have they um, they've got a uh, license plate holder that's got lights on it. Right. So you basically replace the entire back end of your bike with the you know the, the bullet lights basically. Right. And it's just it's a it's like a light bar that goes. It's super cool, but it's oh, really wow. really clean. The uh, the, the license plate is one of those molded, you know, so it, it's not just square on your... Oh, around the kind of curves with the fender. Exactly. Nice. Um, oh, yeah. Speaking of things on the fender, I made another purchase yesterday. Oh, yeah? Yeah. yeah. I went ahead and I got the uh, I got the bracket um, for the quick disconnect in, yeah. in black, and I got, uh, I got the uh, um, bitch bar, if you will, and um, the, uh, the... the I, it's like a luggage rack. It's, it's, it's a luggage rack. I was gonna, say, but it's a, also for the tour pack. Yeah, it's it's the base for the tour pack. I am gonna get the tour pack. Right. So I figured, why get a regular, yeah, you know, luggage luggage rack, rack when, yeah, yeah, you know. So, man, we are going on a ride. Hopefully, um, early May. We're going to Georgia. Maybe the two of us. Yeah, hopefully, I, we'll see what happens. I, you know, work. I know work sucks. I pilot, I fly. <laughs> I plumber, I get off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, so, um, yeah, so it's cool, man. I'm, uh, uh, when is all of it, is it coming soon? Or uh, April 4th. Oh, okay. So not too bad. Yeah, not too bad. It, you know, hey, it's Amazon, bro. Yeah, man. You got to love it. But not too bad. Unfortunately, China made. But I mean, like, my, uh, my luggage rack uh, is Chinese made, and I had to... Uh, I had to uh, jerry rig it to work right. because we were. <laughs> I had it. I had it for maybe two months. And we're riding down the road, me and Kim, and Thump! and no, and she's oh, like, "God, do you hear that?" I'm like, "Yeah." It's like just some rattling. I'm like, "What? What is that?" So it took us a while, but I figured out that the um, so the, the little pieces that lock it into place, right? We're coming. The, the bolts that hold it or whatever were just were just coming out. Wow. I was like, well, that's no good, you know. So I ended up emailing them. They actually did send me out some replacement parts. But in the meantime, because it was coming from fucking China, in the meantime, I just went to the hardware store, bought bought some bolts and, and nuts. That worked. And it works. Yeah. Um. So. Um, hey, Charles Flanagan, Chuck. What's up? That's uh, the guy that uh, gave us all those wristbands and, and oh, yeah, uh, bandanas. Yeah, yeah. Which, and they, they, we gave a bunch of those away. Hell yeah, man. They, look, I even ended up putting some on the back of my bags, and you know, on one side of my bags when we were walking Main Street. Yeah. We come back, there was four left. Yeah. I was like, sweet. Yeah, it was awesome. I mean, we were handing them out, telling people what they were for, and then people were grabbing them, knowing what they were for. Absolutely. So, so Chuck, thanks for that, man. That was awesome. Um. Yeah, so wrapping that up, man, we uh, we finish up at Daytona, um, went and got a real meal because we've been eating kind of garbage all week. <laughs> uh, stopped at the Outback there and had had a really yes. good really good sit down dinner, yes. and then uh, and I made our way back to the house and um, rode home Sunday. And luckily, we I think we managed to get out early enough to dodge all the weather. Well, you know what? Let's go back. Was it Friday night where we ate the pizza, the calzone? Yeah. And yeah. of course, my fucking meal is the whole oh, fucking... <laughs> that is so... Like, all weekend. All weekend. Didn't matter where we ate. Every the... single place we went to eat, the one threes meal was late, came wrong, whatever it was. Liter- so literally good. everywhere we Everywhere ate. we went. But we went to this, this pizza place, which actually had great food. The little bit that I was able to taste <laughs> because it was so late and and I filled up on the garlic knots and everything else because my food got late. But the calzone was awesome. Yeah. Um, while we're sitting there eating dinner, there's a bright light going on in the sky. Oh, dude. I'm going to put you on the screen because this is a hell of a story. You got to tell it. You got to tell it. Oh, oh we're going to talk about them? <laughs> yeah. The, the, what is that? 
Oh, what do you mean? What is what? The launch. Well, the launch is going off. Yeah, it's so right there, there was a, there was a a, a <laughs> rocket launch. Uh, In case y'all didn't know, Friday night SpaceX yeah, yeah. was going. Uh, you got a show tomorrow night at Steinbrenner. Oh, awesome! He's doing fireworks at Steinbrenner. Oh, sweet, night. sweet Chuck, sweet Chuck. So anyway, there was two two girls. They were with their guys, I guess. Oh yeah, she said she was with her her next ex husband or some shit like that. And I was like, I don't care, you know, whatever. And she's over there talking about, well, where's the launch? When's the launch going? I said, it's right there in front of you. What, that light? I said, yeah, the light going up. No, the launch. I want to see where the launch is. And it was just stupid shit going on. Well, and it, but the best part about it was, see, the part that, the part that you forgot to say was, she was like, where's the launch? And, and one three's like, it's right there. And she goes, so did it already happen? Oh, We're yeah. like, um, yeah, the rocket is like literally like going right up. there and it's going up into space. Like... <laughs> What in the fuck is your problem? <laughs> it was so funny, man. I, I'm sorry, I forgot that. I was just like, this this woman is stupid. Oh, then they left their drinks on our table. Oh yeah, and I'm like, well, whose drinks are these? So I hand them to the waiter, to the waiter, and my wife says, no, that's my margarita. I said, no, it's not. And my wife took a sip of it anyway. And I was like, yeah. She goes, oh, that's disgusting. I don't know what it was. I don't. Yeah, as I say, I don't remember. I'm like, what why it was. would you drink someone else's drink? It was brand new. <laughs> it was brand new though. But it was funny. So the waiter took it. Then about five minutes later, they come over to our table. The uh, the yeah. guy and the girl. Well, our, we put our drinks down there. I said, well, they're gone. We gave them the waiter. Yeah. I. I'm, that's your fuck up, not yeah. mine. Like we're we've been sitting at this table. Yeah. The whole time, like <laughs> you just came over and put your drinks down. Yeah, right next, right on my spot. I'm sorry like, for your loss there, chief. Yeah. Um, it was funny yeah, as shit, the man. fucking rocket launch. Um, where is the launch? It's right there, bitch. It's yeah. in front of you. So, uh, yeah, so we leave Sunday. and oh, yeah. um, Nice, beautiful ride home. It was actually a nice ride home. It was, um, couple we drinks. hit a couple spots, little drizzles here and there, but nothing. Like We stayed ahead of it. it was, yeah, I think we stayed ahead of it. Had we, had we got out any, any later, I think we would have been a, we would have had a little bit. We would have been wet puppies. But, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, we, we were lucky enough to beat the rain out and... Um, and we all got home safe. Um, yes, we did. Which is good. Every time. Um, it ended up being a little bit longer of a day for me because we ended up uh, deciding to go check on... Um, Your house oh, here, building. fell over. Uh, <laughs> to go check on the house that we're building. And, Dude, you didn't um, fall over. You almost fell over. I almost. You'd have fallen over, man. <laughs> done. Um, this is a but yeah, we went to go check on the house and that turned into you know an, another hour added to the ride that we were already on. So Yeah, but you um, did it. Good reason. Oh my gosh, yeah. this yawn. So, um, so yeah, so that is the Daytona Bike Week wrap up. Um, hopefully, we didn't bore the hell out of you guys. Nah. Uh, most of you guys um, on the show tonight um, probably saw some of the videos that we had. Um, I, I encourage everybody that hasn't seen any of the videos that we did um, from Daytona, go check them out. Um, uh, again, technical difficulties in a lot of them. Um, the the uh, the self service for the area in general that that many people just kind of bogged down the system. So, yeah. So there was a lot of in and out, in and out with. Um, <laughs> what with is that. going on so, with us? Huh? We locked up, bro. Uh, we're well, we're going. probably still going, so I'm not going to worry about um, it. So yeah, so go check out our videos from Daytona. Um, I'll tell you that the 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 two that I think you should you guys should check out that you really get a kick out of is uh, the Wall of Death for sure. Absolutely, that um, one was good. And then uh, the Burnout uh, Burnout Pit. Of, you know, I still uh, haven't Iron seen Wars. that. I, yeah. I still haven't seen that one. We so. kind of caught that at the tail end because that was literally right after the old timer uh, went down. So we kind of caught the uh, the tail half of the Burnout. But uh, but yeah. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Iron Horse has a Burnout Pit in the. Uh, in the compound, basically. Yeah, you just bring. And you your... put two guys up against each other, and whoever blows their tire first wins. I still have no idea what they win. I don't know if they win a bar tab or. or what. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not blowing my tire up, dude. Well, I mean, like you said, I think you do it if you go. You know, you, you need a new tire anyway. If you're ready to put a if new you're ready tire, to put a new tire on a tire. Tell way me where you saw it. a shop. No, that's true. I mean, that's the thing. They, I would imagine that they have somebody there that does tires. They would have to. I mean, well, I say they would have to. They don't have to. They don't have to have anything. There's somebody doing tires. I, I, I could say that. Um, All right, cool. Yeah, I don't know what. Chuck, audio is good and the video is hanging up. I don't know, man. We got, we got good, good Wi-Fi. I'm on Wi-Fi. 
and I'm hardwired. he's he's hardwired. Again, technical difficulties. Uh, that's you know, what this show's all about. I think I think that's our new tagline. We need to throw that in there. Um, so that <laughs> is that is Daytona. That was forty minutes of Daytona. How about that? That'll work. All right. So um, while we were in Daytona, um, a I will say an icon in the motorcycle realm, the motorcycle world, right. passed away this weekend. Yes. Yes. Um, for those that don't know, uh, we're talking about uh, Mr. Taco Bowman. Um, Taco was at one time the president of the Outlaws MC. Yes, he was. Um, he's pretty world renowned um, in the motorcycle community. Oh yeah. Um, he kind of, kind of fostered and carried uh, the Outlaw. MC into the, I guess you could say into the modern modern day. Yeah, he, he kind of. Well, he he um, you know he was arrested several times. Whatever you know right. what we're we're not going to harp on that. We're not. He was a big influence in mo- in the motorcycle. Oh, club. for sure. I mean, there's no no way you know. And and um, I'm just going to say you know him being a one percenter, the talk talk of being one percenter. I'm going to read something because I don't. You know, ad lib very well. So this this is a this is from a, a um, an article that was written, and it, the author is unknown, but it was about uh, the uh, he, he the went, ceremony. Yeah, he went to he went to Taco's funeral in Ohio. In, in Ohio, I'm gonna put you on the screen that way. The uh, maybe um, it'll the just pictures will pictures will run too of of uh, oh Taco of Taco. Yeah, and, that's cool. And the, and the funeral. And All right, so here I am. Reading, okay? This is not for me. So he says, I fell in love this weekend again. I served in a combat zone more than once. Oftentimes when you're bored overseas, you wonder if this is my time to go. What will people say about me? How will I be remembered? You expect and hope that your brothers you serve with will cherish and carry on your legacy. This weekend, I witnessed just such an event. I saw it pouring forward 100 times over. Now that to me... I mean, I got goosebumps just hearing that, and it's just crazy, man. I mean, the stuff that was going on in, in uh, Ohio. Uh, what, what was this little town? It was I can't remember the name of the town in Ohio, uh, but it was a small town. And as the media tried to make a spin on things with words, you know, oh shit, the gang's coming to town, uh, I'm nefarious leader of the gang, or words negatively impacting the public. And yes, I am reading from a, from an article. Um, Thousands upon thousands poured in to say things like, I love you, brother, gone but not forgotten. And tears were flowing. Without judgment, you were getting hugs and kisses from these big badass bikers. We are, and they are, people. They're human yeah, beings, man. Yeah. Everybody has feelings, no matter how big, bad, or whatever you think you are, you, you're going to cry one time. And no, there's not a man out there can tell me they have not cried. Right. You know, I mean... This, this is things that um, this guy says he's not a one percenter. He's just someone that loves the history, the culture, and the traditions and wants to see it honored and kept alive for generations to come. He says he watched as men slowly made their way past the casket to pay respects. That, that to me, and I'm not going to read any more, that is just a freaking awesome thing. No matter who you are, where you are, you have someone that impacted the biker yeah. way of life yeah. like that. I can guarantee that there was other clubs there. Oh, for sure. And they were paying their respects as well. Yeah, I mean, I I saw... I can't say that they were rival clubs. Right. But I can absolutely say, with the thousands of people that were there, everybody was paying their last respects. And that was just crazy. Yeah, I mean, I saw... I, I did see a video that had uh, the procession come in. And you could see on the, on the slides there that uh, um, Taco's... His last ride. His last ride was a. Uh, it's kind of cool. A trike with towing a. Uh, yeah. I don't even know what. Uh, a carriage a, with, a carriage, a, with a casket. Right? A hearse. It's a. It's yeah, a, hearse. a carriage hearse. Right? So uh, so it was kind of cool. But yeah, I mean, like you said, there there were there were definitely other clubs other than the Outlaws there. I saw several different patches. Uh, obviously, there there aren't any rival you know rival clubs, but. Uh, but you don't know. They, but but they, yeah, you honestly, still don't know. we don't know. Right. Uh, I mean, there because been he. Guys there, you know, 
outside, you know, without their cuts or whatever. You never know. But I mean, and and like you know, like the article said, and like one three said, man, Taco, he he, I, and I said it too. He affected the motorcycle community as a whole for many many years, for many years, and especially the MC world uh, for for many years. So. Um, I think it's really, I think it's really cool that um, so many people came to pay respects to the guy. Absolutely. Um, doesn't matter what you think of the guy. Doesn't matter what you think of his club. Doesn't matter what you think of uh, the MC world as a whole. Uh, he's a fellow rider. Yep. He took his final ride, and uh, we just want to say to uh, to everybody out there who uh, who's missing Taco, we feel your pain, brother. And yeah. uh, rest in peace, Taco. Absolutely. Cool. We pay our respects this way. That's the way we can do it. Um, all right. So with that, uh, we're going to wrap up the show with a very interesting um, uh, bit of, I don't know what you call it, a, 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 an article that the one three sent me a couple weeks ago. Uh, we actually, we were actually going to do this the week before we went to Daytona. Right. Uh, but we ended up having a show that was just way too long and we got to and I was off the chart and we got yeah, and we got to the point of uh, bringing this topic up and it just it was too much so we, we pushed it off and then because Daytona happened last week and then so here we are so you can you can see it going across the screen we are talking about a flying jet bike yes right? so I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna put the picture on the screen yeah. so you guys can all see what exactly this thing looks like and i'm going to i'm going to reserve my comments here for a second and i want to pass i want to pass the torch to 13 and ask him what are your thoughts on a pri a personal aviation vehicle flying jet bike <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> Dude, I'm all over that. I mean, look at this thing. It is freaking awesome. I mean, I I personally I think it's I think it's a cool idea. You know, there's got to be some regulations on it. I mean, I know that this is in I believe it's in the um the uh what what's that where the GoFundMe pages or what Oh yeah, it's like you know, definitely it's, prototype, but yeah, definitely it's, not it's not out there out yet. Out there. But holy shit, could you imagine? I mean, hey, I'm going to fly to work today. Now. Come on. I will say. You're a pilot, yeah. so you're going to have another. I'm going to have a very different. Uh, I'm like, let's go for it. Fucking Jetsons, man. Let's. Yeah. It's, and, and for sure, very futuristic, right? Very, uh, very cool. Look, the, the, the day of having a personal drone, that kind of thing, I don't think we're that far away from that. No, I don't. Okay. Um, we already, I mean, shit, we already have Amazon Dropping. You know, coming up with, with delivery by drone. So, I mean, this stuff isn't that far, that far in the future. Um, the funny thing is, is we've been, I say we just, you know, people in general have been discussing flying vehicles since the beginning of time. You got to remember back in what was it the '60s when the Jetsons were on '60s yeah. and '70s. Come on, man! They had flying cars, and you know where they get that from. There's something in in real life that that has a hinge on movies, cartoons, oh, yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah, you know that's that's where they get their ideas from. You know, so I mean, these things have been I gotta stand up again. These things have been going on. You know, the the idea of having a flying car has kind of been going on for a while. Now here's here's the pilot in me talking now. <laughs> there's no fucking way this would work. Okay? Come on, man. Now, there's the only. I, I will say this. I shouldn't say it's not gonna. It's there's no way it'll work. It it won't work in the general sense of the of the of the term, right? You like you or me or just random people jumping on a flying, <laughs> excuse me, a flying bike to go to and from work, whatever. There's just bad news written all over. It. Why? Come on, man. They're think not. about think about this, okay? Just hear me out. You've got how many thousands of cars, millions of cars on the roadways every day? Exactly. That's why you get on this thing. Okay. You get above them. Sure. Now you think you're the only asshole that's going to have one of these? No. Okay. So now you put. So say there's. We'll just use simple numbers for for the sake of argument, right? Okay. So say there's a thousand cars on the ground. Let's just say. 
there's pro- if there's a thousand cars on the ground, there's probably a hundred people that can. No, nah, that's probably too much. Say there's ten, ten that's flying bikes, going. right? Okay. Now, on a small scale, that doesn't sound like that big of a deal. Now you go to a million. Now you have a thousand. You know what I'm saying? Like you start putting that much congestion into the air. You've got to have some kind of regulation that goes along with it. So okay. you've got yes, to get, I, I you've got to have some specific licensing that goes along okay. with it. Something along those we lines. We have to have motorcycle endorsements anyway. Sure. So now you have flying motorcycle endorsements. Okay. I'm okay with that. But you also have to, like, the, the only way that happens is you basically have to become a pilot. Okay. So in, in, in a, in, but not in, a full-fledged pilot. Right. In the general sense, because you would have to understand airspace. You would have to understand all the, all the things, that, all okay. the nuances all that right. go along with that. Ultralights. Right. How many thousands of those are there that right. people can afford? But they have licensing for ultralights. Okay. So what about the little kite thingies? There's no licensing for that. Right. And they can fly them over anywhere you want to go. I see them fly over my damn house. Sure. Now, come on. Okay. Come on. <laughs> but the thing is here, you can you can definitely jump on a paraglider whatever those those parachute yeah. fucking things you can jump on one of those right and you can blaze a fucking hole in the sky all you want right absolutely you can it's just that's the way it is so technically speaking yes you can get onto uh, a flying bike from your house and go to the VA hospital because there's between here and the VA there's nothing there's no airport there's no airport there's no airspace that you have to worry about the only thing I'd have to worry about is a hospital because of the helicopter helipad that right. would be the but that's that's but that's nothing that's nothing that's really that's so. really not that big a deal now the issue you have now is say you say you worked at uh, Bay Pines still okay so say so now you leave here and you've got to go to Bay Pines now you can get there a lot faster on the jet bike because you don't have to fucking follow the Stupid roads to get there. Yep. But you got to pass Vandenberg, or which is Tampa Executive. You got to pass Tampa International. You got to pass McDill. You got to pass St. Pete Clearwater. There, there's four airports you have to go by or you have to fly by to get there. Okay. So that's where I say you have to start having some kind of. You were telling me light aircraft don't have to contact the. Uh... Towers in some yeah it's some airport like okay so for instance the Tampa Executive Airport is an uncontrolled airport you can fly in and out of there no problem my I don't recommend I don't recommend it right I don't recommend but it. my jet bike I'm gonna have the full face helmet with the Bluetooth com yeah tower this is Robert and I'm coming in for a landing air uh-huh. uh-huh runway what the fuck runway is that and everybody's gonna go. What the fuck is that <laughs> yeah I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna pull in by that big fucking hangar Look, over there so again. You, you, you kind of get into a point where you have to have some specific licensing to do that. And that's fine. It's I fine. mean, I'm, I'm down with that. So if I, I don't mind the licensing. I don't mind that. But I think it would be cool as shit if we could have bikes for, for personal use. You oh, know, I think fly, it'd be, fly yeah, I think it'd be awesome. Oh, see, now you're changing. No, no, no. You were just saying you're not so sure about it in the beginning. I'm still it. not sure about it. I think it'd be cool as shit. You've got it. Like I said, the only way you do it... Is you have to have if it's some done license. if it's done yeah correctly. if it's done right and it's done correctly I don't have a problem with it but well, then but you can't the... you can't just fucking mass produce these things sell them they're probably three hundred grand easy. stupid expensive anyways but you can't mass produce these things push them out into the fucking market and then have the one three jump on it fuck and yeah just, and just go you then just, you can no you just can't. Dude, I'm going to jump on that bitch and I'm going to go here and I'm going to say, hey, let's go to Key West. <laughs> yeah. Probably need to gas up before we get there Woo. too. I don't know. Once or twice. But uh, but yeah, so jet bikes. What do you guys think? What What's your guys' take on yeah, a I, jet bike? Uh, a flying, it doesn't have to be a jet bike. I think it, it, it's kind of funny that it says it's a jet bike because I don't really think it's a jet bike. I, I didn't. No, I saw, no, no. Was it, it, it's is a, it a turbine? Actual turbine. No shit. Jet bike. It's um, it's the guy that made the personal, um, the jet. You know the jets for. Oh yeah yeah yeah. You're right. You're right. The California company. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. You're no, it right. is a fucking turbine right. engine jet bike. So yeah. So what are your guys' thoughts on the jet bike? Because, I want one. Um, and I will be willing to test yours. <laughs> you're gonna be. You're, you're, I'm you're, the guinea pig. Look, you're gonna. 
You're going to let this guy test your bike. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> cool. All right, guys. So um, I think that's our show for tonight. Um, I, uh, I will apologize in advance. Um, we were all a little bit lazy and didn't come up with a good uh, events calendar for the week. Speaking of events. Maybe I know. Got an event. No, I don't. I know. <laughs> I do. Salty Shamrock, last Thursday of the month. We are supposed to be there this week. Oh, that's right. However, that got that has to change. Our next show will be on Wednesday of next week, not Thursday. Yep. Wednesday. Because somebody has to meet with his builder. Yep. Not yeah, that, that's make any say any names. Well, it has to happen because we're behind schedule, and I gotta figure out. Oh, I, I know, I got you, man. Fuck, we're that far behind schedule. Yeah, no, I understand. Yeah. So anyway, that's why Wednesday, not Thursday, and maybe I'll cruise down and just see the salty shamrock. I won't be able to do a show or anything. Maybe I'll do a live video. Hey, it's the one three at the salty shamrock with my buddy. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And, 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 no, Sharpie. <laughs> and Sharpie's gonna be like, um, I "Thought you were gonna do a fucking show, bro." <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna make that happen eventually. It's just it's logistically it's it, you know it's it's hard to do it when you got so much shit going on. Oh yeah. Uh, unfortunately, uh, for both of us, this isn't our full time job yet. So no, no. Maybe one day it'll be a full time. Maybe it job. will. Hope you know that's that's the that's the dream. The goal eventually. The goal in life. Uh, Phil saying Leesburg. When is Leesburg? That's coming up. I know it is. God, when April? Is it in April? Yeah, it's in April. So right around the corner then. Yeah, yeah, and oh, and I think it's the twenty fourth or some shit like that. But um, out. here's the thing. April 26th through the 28th. Oh, good. Okay, good. <laughs> so late, later in the month. Right. Well, because two weekends, I, I can't go anywhere. I have, to, I have to work two weekends. I'm getting uh, my backflow certification again. Oh. Yeah, I'm getting recertified in, in uh, you know, backflow prevention. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be two days, but it's two days, four days, two weekends, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday of overtime. There you go. So do it, do it uh, early in the month then. Well, it, it's I think it's uh, uh, I think I put it down in my calendar here. Blah blah blah, 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 blah March, April. Um, I think it's the sixth, seventh, and thirteenth, fourteenth. Perfect. So, so yeah, that's that's our next. Uh, that'll be our next big hoorah, hoorah, so to speak, is Leesburg Bike Fest. We'll have to figure out logistically how how we do that one. Well, that's easy. We usually just drive up there. We got you, my mom. Your mom. Your mom lives up there. You, you have more. You, we got spot. So there we go. So air so, mattress. At <laughs> Leesburg, <laughs> strap that bitch up like we did last week. Air mattress. Um, yeah. There you go, Phil. Twenty six through twenty eight for Leesburg. Um, thanks, Phil. Cool. Well, uh, thanks, Phil. Appreciate it. Uh, woo woo. So with that, um, that is the show for the evening. Absolutely. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, listen to us talk this time. Yeah. Um. Hopefully we didn't bore you too much with our with our stories of Daytona. Oh no! Um, and, and I was doing some decorating and stuff before before uh, Alvy got here. Yeah, and I got the, some. The, the one three cool. bar looks a little different. Yeah, it looks good. It's though. getting there. We, I have more pictures, more stuff to put up. Hey, and tell me, huh? she's gonna kill me. <laughs> she's gonna kill me. <laughs> hold on, hold on. There you she's go. gonna kill me. You ready? Go for it. Okay, my wife painted this the one four and. <laughs> <laughs> And he's I getting, think I think it's awesome. I think she did. That. I think she did a great job. What do y'all think? <laughs> I think she did a great job. So I, it's getting hung up in my bar because she's not allowed to touch anything in my bar. It's mine. By the way, he just got yelled at through the oh, wall. Oh yeah, it went through the walls, the doors. I don't know how the hell she heard me, but she did. All right, ladies so. and gentlemen. So with that, uh, like I said, thank you guys for joining us tonight. Uh, thanks for interacting with us on the show today. Absolutely. Um, we will uh, we will be back with you guys next week on Wednesday. Wednesday. Of Thursday. So Wednesday at 7 next week. Uh, stop by. Hang out with us. Um, we'll, uh, we'll have a, a, a normal show next week. With, yes. Uh, with topics and everything else. Yes. And uh, we'll rock and roll. So uh, thanks again for joining. Keep it rocking. Rub it side down, baby. All right, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace. Bye-bye.